in there so it's gonna have to go in the bin um, which I'm quite disappointed about Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog of Halal Food Reviews. I'm here in a place called Trinity Kitchen, located in Lee City Centre. And today we are reviewing Arches, which are well-known burger place in Manchester. Now they've started to branch out into other cities. So I've actually gone for their standard burger, which is called Superstar. Let's have a look at the menu. So this is their menu and what I've gone for is their standard burger which is called the Superstar Burger and what the Superstar Burger has is two smash patties, double cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, Archie star sauce and a sesame brioche bun and that costs £7.49 for the burger so I've actually gone for that one so my package has arrived and inside the package has the burger it's in a nice paper bag with Archie's branding. Let's have a look inside. So you've got a napkin. You've got the, the burger box with the burger inside. And they're giving two sachets of sauce. One is a mayonnaise and just one below that is ketchup. So here is the burger box. And inside the burger box, I've got my gloves on, so let's have a look. Okay, so it comes in a nice foiled packaging. It is very warm. Looks very thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this burger on a plate so we can have a better view. And we'll do a 360 degrees on this. So uh, we'll have a closer look at the Archie's Superstar Burger. Right, so what I've done is I've put the burger on a plate so you can get a better view. And here is the burger, just look at that. It does look like a bit of a messy burger to be honest. We've got all that sauce, you can see the sauce, the cheese. Um, it's got two beef patties in there. It's got lettuce. It's got the seeded brioche bun. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open this up, we're going to dissect it, we're going to measure it to see what's inside. Okay, so let's measure this up guys. So I've got my ruler. The bun itself is about three and a half inches. So it's a slightly smaller bun than the other burger places. Okay, so I've opened the burger up and what you can see is you can see a lot of pepper on the beef patty. You could also see it in the tomato. What you've got here in the salad is you've got one slice of tomato and you've got lettuce and the brioche has been buttered. I don't know if you can see that. It's toasted and buttered. It's got a nice crust on the edges on the beef patty on the smash patty and it's got the American cheese as well so it's um, the beef patty is roughly about two and a half inches as well and you've also got the the sauce which is on the top layer of the bun just above the burger so the burger has been put back together I'm gonna to dig in now so let's give it a nice good bite let's have a look I'm gonna give it a nice bite mm. I'm gonna be honest with you it's very salty um, it's really overpowering by salt. I mean, yes, you're supposed to put your salt and pepper on the beef patties, but this has got a lot of salt. It's 
it's actually I'm quite disappointed to be honest um, these guys have got a massive reputation on the burgers but this has got a lot of salt I'm gonna give it another bite from the other side just to um, see if it does have the salt as well so it could be just the fact that they've put salt on one side and the other part is normal but let's give it a bite Mm. Right, so it does actually contain a lot of salt, um, so I'm a bit disappointed with that actually. Um, you've got two smashed patties, heavily salted. Um, the house sauce is actually quite nice, it's not overpowering. The, the buttered bun is absolutely delicious. Um, it's a simple burger, you know, it's only got a tomato, it's got lettuce. Um, and this is this is supposed to be perfect because it's the simple things that make things really delicious but they've really overpowered with the salt which has really destroyed the taste and the experience of enjoying this burger um, so Archie's um, you just need to calm down on your salt to be honest um, and this would have been really good it would have been a good eating experience but I'm a bit disappointed to be honest um, it's um it's uneatable um i mean it's been cooked perfectly you can see that um it's been cooked perfectly it's got a crust but it's got a lot of salt um if you do get this um just let them know not to put too much salt so i would have actually finished this burger off um but it's just unedible um it's got a lot of salt in there so it's gonna have to go in the bin um, which i'm quite disappointed about so what we'll do is we'll go to the the scores. So from a presentation and packaging point of view, Archers have really put a huge investment into making sure that the brand is really popping out there. Um, they've got the branded paper bag, they've got the branded foil which was on this burger. They've even got the, the sauce sachets which are branded as well. So from a presentation and packaging point of view, I would give these guys a 9 out of 10. From a service point of view, I mean, it took me about 20 minutes since I placed my order. When the order was actually delivered to me, um, the guys didn't have much of an interaction. They just handed me the, the bag um, and that was it, really. They just called the number out, gave me the bag and uh, that was it. So from a service point of view and a waiting point of view, I would give these guys a 5 out of 10. So from a price point of view, this cost me £7.49 for a three and a half inch bun and patty. Um, if the salt was in the right consistency, I would say, yeah, it's worth it. Um, but it is a pretty small burger. Uh, for £7.49, I would give these guys a six out of 10. So from a taste point of view, the special sauce that they're putting there is really nice. The toasted buttery bun is really nice. Um, the beef patty, uh, well, it would have been really nice if they haven't overpowered it with so much salt. I would actually enjoy the beef patty. So from a taste point of view, um, you know, this would have got a good score. But because of the amount of salt that they've put in there, I would give these guys a 3 out of 10. Overall, from the ordering process to everything and the taste and the experience I've had, um, I'm going to be honest, I'm quite disappointed. Um, with the way, I mean, there wasn't much of an interaction from the customer service point of view and there wasn't really a good experience eating this burger. Uh, too much salt has destroyed the experience. So I would give Archie's a 4 out of 10. Thanks for watching my food review on Halal Food Reviews. If you have eaten here, give us a thumbs up and if that's if you like it. And if you've had a bad experience and you don't like Archie's, then give us a thumbs down. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next food review.